morning everyone welcome to this vlog i just started off my morning with an orange theory class i don't even feel like the workout was that hard i just felt like so drained <laughs> like the whole time coffee was the only thing getting me through like the thought of getting coffee after i'm so excited for coffee i was gonna make one at home but honestly i feel like celebrating today because <laughs> One, I got through my 7.30 workout class. It's only 8.30. Like, I love the feeling of having the rest of the day. And also, yesterday, it was, like, torrential downpours, like, raining, storming, horrible the whole day. Which, by the way, I need to show you guys this picture my friend sent me. Her apartment's outside of Philly. You won't even believe this photo. Like, it's actually so dangerous and scary. Anyway, we had all these, like, flood warnings. We, like, sat inside all day, and it was so rainy and dark and whatever. And today's gonna be so sunny, so Brody and I need to celebrate and go to Starbucks and get a coffee, maybe a little puppuccino. Especially because we could barely barely walk him yesterday because it was like pouring all day and like scary so I already walked him this morning we'll probably walk again because it's such a sunny and nice day and we have a lot to do today but look at this like is your car just ruined if this happened like look at this photo my friend sent me at her apartment complex outside of Philly like by the river and the river was flooding like those are tops of cars anyway good morning Freddie and I are gonna go to Starbucks made it to Starbucks I actually came to this is my favorite one it's like a little bit farther but normally I just go to one that's like not as fun in my opinion <laughs> if you live here you know what I mean I always say that but yeah the one that's closer I always mobile order on that one and then this one you can't because I think because it's always so busy so you just like go through the drive-thru or at least that's what I do <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the one that I normally will go to the close one I tried to mobile order the pumpkin cream cold brew because I Obviously, that's what I need and they were sold out so I came here and this is fun anyway because this is my favorite one but he's gonna get his puppuccino also may I just add it's really starting to feel like fall it's kind of chilly this is like the first day it's chilly ish well this morning when I was walking at like 6 a.m. it was probably like 65 or something like it felt really chilly and now it's probably like 70 or almost 70 and it's really sunny so it feels pretty warm in the sun, but I was like, if I can have an excuse to put on a cozy sweater. This one from White Fox, by the way. Thank you so much, White Fox Boutique, for working with me on this video. I actually show you guys, I got the cutest new clothes from them in the mail. I just got the package in, so we can do like a little try-on moment when I get home. But yeah, this is just one of the things. Also, if you saw my last vlog, the black bodysuit I was wearing is from them. They just have the cutest pieces, so this is just like gray. I mean, I'll show you in the mirror when I get home so you can see better, but it's like the coziest gray sweater. So I'm so happy it's like cool breeze out like kind of chilly so I can wear it Oh my gosh, I miss my brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I love that I haven't tried the apple. I'm gonna say it wrong apple macchiato some other fall one Why can't I think of what it's called? I'm trying to like look on the menu apple something and I wanted to try it But I've heard mixed reviews like I've heard some people say that it's not good But I've heard other people say that it's really good. So yeah here we go, people. Good morning and welcome to Starbucks. How are you this morning? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. What can I get started for you? Could I do a grande pumpkin cream cold brew? Of course, what else can I get for you? I think that's it. All right, 504, we'll see you in the window. Thank you. Iced apple crisp macchiato that's what it is and people have been like you should try that and say how it is but i'm like scared to try it because i feel like i've heard mixed things and we'll get you puppuccino don't worry he knows where we are like he loves this one he gets all excited oh my goodness you guys this is looking extra good today the foam is looking spot on you guys need to try this if you haven't tried it it's so addicting okay the moment we really all have been waiting for is that yummy please don't get it on me okay come on hang on Let's reposition so it doesn't get on me. Can we take a breather? Bro! Oh, good thing I have napkins from last time. I hope this isn't getting on me. I got on my seat a little bit. Let's <laughs> wiping his face. Let's get a little video. Oh, yeah. I think this makes me happier even than it makes him. Like, obviously, he's happy eating the whipped cream. Whoa, you did that one quick. But this brings me so much joy. And you haven't had one in a really long time. I'm so sorry. I hope you're not mad because it's been a minute. Wow. Put a number on that one. Wipe your chinny chin chin. That was so fun, huh? I think this is why he likes coming to Starbucks because he associates it with getting a popcorn. Obviously. Oh my gosh. This is looking so Look at when it like melts into the cold brew. I feel like sometimes when I get it, there's not that much like pumpkin spice on the top of the cold foam. But today it's looking extra good. 
this is what I mean like the Starbucks is just the best because the workers are extra nice and friendly like they're so sweet the girl that brought out his pop cup was like oh my gosh we we're chatting she's like I have a golden like I just got one da -da -da -da. and we were like chatting about golden like they're just so sweet and it's like the prettiest Starbucks it's very like aesthetic <laughs> and I post my Instagram photo here everyone's like how do you make Starbucks look cute and I'm like no like this Starbucks is the cutest one so and top of all of that their drinks always taste the best I don't know I feel like I order differently at the other one because I know it like comes out different isn't that weird like I swear when I I was on my vanilla cream cold brew that's what it's called right yeah vanilla cream cold brew cake when I would come here I just order it normal as perfect but at the other one they would make it like so sweet and it would be like basically white like it was so light so I always would have to order it light sweet cream over there but it would end up like the same as the normal one over here isn't that interesting anyway this was a fun mommy son date, huh? I love you. Are you guys ready for this little haul moment? I got the cutest pieces, like I was saying, from White Fox. Before I start, let me remember to mention to you guys, I know they have express worldwide shipping on White Fox Boutique, and they also have afterpay available for other US customers and Australian customers and New Zealand customers as well. So here we go, outfit one. This just like screams fall to me. I know I told you guys about this sweater that is so comfy. I'm just like living in this today so obviously just simple gray cropped sweater everything by the way I will link down below for you guys sizes everything like that like these pants I know I got in a medium and they fit me perfectly look at these like a glove I'm so impressed the quality the feel like you guys need these if you are looking for the perfect like leather I don't say leather leggings but these are like leather pants just like tight skinny fit obviously and well actually not too tight that's why these are like perfect because they just fit me so perfect I feel like leather pants can be so hard to look flattering fit you well I've always struggled with that I've really always struggled with the length so I'm so impressed that these are the perfect length on me like I love the little zipper detail I'm five foot nine so this is so impressive <laughs> that these fit me so perfect and I haven't even said yet but later in this vlog like I said I have a lot to do today I am actually packing for New York I'm going to New York this weekend I am surprising my best friend Louisa because it was just her 23rd birthday and all of our friends are going she has no idea it's like the biggest surprise what I'm trying to say is I need to pack and like pick out my outfits obviously like fun New York vibes so these will be so perfect for New York I'm sorry I'm just not over these leather pants like they look good with everything but next up we have this green tank top again the quality the fit the material like this is so thick and just ribbed and just so nice feeling love this green color i've been so into just simple tank tops like this especially the high neck with like blazer oh, i think this is just so perfect and the cutest like sage green color then we've got the most perfect basic long sleeve sort of like taupey brown bodysuit. I'm living for these basics right now and I'm feeling so blessed that all of this came just in time for me to go to New York because I literally have been struggling and I have no idea what I'm going to wear this weekend. So something like this is so perfect and like my go-to. You cannot go wrong with this simple like nude color bodysuit, some black leather pants. Oh, how cute. Hey you guys. I'm screaming. This is 100% what I'm wearing because you get every little thing. I'm like, wait, actually, I want to wear this. But this screams surprise birthday party New York City vibes, right? Like this top, we just need a moment of silence. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I love clothes so much. But literally, this is so stunning. Look at like the floral flower detail, some lace up here. It's making my boobs look good. <laughs> Shocking because there's not much there. I'm obsessed. Oh my god okay yeah this is it with some heels can't wait then i just got it in another color well i guess print because i'm so obsessed with this style you know i don't care that it's supposed to be like fall whatever september it's still gonna be so hot here like i said today's a little bit cooler but cool is like 70 it's gonna be in the 80s the next couple weeks so catch me still in this and like little denim shorts it has like little tiny butterflies all over it i just think it's so adorable these tops are so me and like girly wow also equally as obsessed with this top. Look at her. Okay, now I'm second guessing. Do I need to? <laughs> I guess you guys will see on my Instagram what I go with this weekend in New York. And I'm sure I'll wear multiple outfits. So anyway, this is adorable. Like I'm just obsessed with this color. It's like a mauve pinky mauve, mauve, like pinky nude. And I feel like it's really making my tan pop. Also, I feel like this style of shirt with like the underwire is so in right now. 
How stunning. Then we've got this black bodysuit, which is such a stunning basic, but also the little twist with like the rouging, the tie right here. They just have the best clothes, you guys. Literally the cutest going out clothes, basic clothes, fancy clothes, like everything. Also, I have the cutest white box active pieces. Don't forget about their activewear and their swimwear. They have the cutest pieces for working out. Like I have these leopard sets and you guys are always like, oh my gosh, where are they from? White box and some of my cutest bathing suits also from White Fox. Then this was the black bodysuit I actually was wearing in my last vlog. It's just plain black. Why do I feel like the lighting is so dark all of a sudden? Such a good simple like ribbed knit bodysuit. You literally can't tell it's so dark but there's like an underwire detail. Let's see if we can look over here. Right there you see it and I think it's so stunning. Then we've got this tan blazer. This is like my ideal fall outfit right now. So simple with like the all black underneath but also just like layered and fun with the leather pants and the blazer. I'm so into blazers right now. This is like the perfect tan nude blazer, kind of like an oversized fit. If you guys have been looking for one, don't sleep on this one. It's so perfect. Neutral will literally go with everything. All right, first of all, this bodysuit. So cute. Just a white, like ruffly bodysuit. Again, it's still going to be hot here. So I'm still wearing cute summery pieces. And this, you could totally transition into the fall with pants like these. Look at they just fit me so well. They're obviously like a nice, very similar to the blazer, like nude sort of just tan color. So neutral will literally go with everything. You can dress them up, dress them down. So into these pants and they have like a little slit at the bottom. These are also the perfect length on me with any sort of shoes, obviously right now. But when I have like heels, sneakers on, oh, love. Then we've got this baby pink, light pink tank top. I loved the rib details. I think it's like elevated, basic, so, so cute. Also makes me look very tan. And then these jeans I'm obsessed with. I've been seeing this style where there's like a little tie at the bottom. I just have them like loosely tied right now, but you could obviously tie them like tighter, like cinched with heels. I just think these are so fun. I can't lie, you guys. This is the piece I was most excited for. Oh. Just all the little details are so stunning. I love the rouging in the front. It's so flattering. Also, like the little cutouts with the ties. I am so obsessed with this dress. Something about bodycon long sleeve dresses, they've always been my go-to. Because I think if it's like a spaghetti strap and bodycon, sometimes I feel like naked. But with the long sleeve, I feel like it's so, I don't know, like flattering. And I guess more like <laughs> covered in a way. I feel less naked. A little more classy. As classy as you can be in a little bodycon dress. But... I was the most excited for this and this would be so perfect if you were in college and have like date nights or formals things like that I wish I had this when I was in college because it's so perfect for that and I can wear this like going out oh, I love this dress Then last but certainly not least we have this brown dress you guys may remember I feel like I've said this recently in vlog I've been obsessed with brown recently I don't know what it is I was saying how I finally accepted that my eyes are brown and that brown probably brings out my eyes like I always wish I had light eyes my whole life but I'm like maybe I should just accept it wear brown and then it will like go with my look <laughs> Am I making any sense? Anyway, I love this like chocolatey brown colored dress. Again, it's like the ribbed high neck. I'm just so into it right now. And this is so good to transition into the fall. Like a perfect right now piece since it's like very end of summer, very beginning of fall. And it's just like rouged. I love the rouging detail, the little ties at the side. I honestly want to keep this on right now because it's getting hotter and hotter. And it was like so chilly this morning. So I had the sweater on. But then now in the sun and it's like in the 70s, I might just keep this on and head to my nail appointment since I have a nail appointment soon and have to get them all fixed up before New York because they are so grown out right now but yeah again everything I just showed you guys will be linked down below in the description I'm obsessed with all these cutie new white box pieces now we're going to head to my nail appointment <laughs> guys just saw I got my nails done I'm so happy I got them done as you saw they were so grown out here we go much better I think this is a little bit even of a lighter pink than we normally do because you can legit like see through my nails I don't know if you can tell they look like trans 
translucent i forget which one it is but yeah it's probably because my nails are paper thin like my own nails because this is just dip on my own nails but i've had dip on my nails for years and years and years now but i can't not have dip because my nails are so brittle on their own <laughs> it's just like a horrible cycle but i always love the way they look just very natural and where i go nail play they laugh they're like oh same again i literally get the same thing every time so nice though because i don't even have to think about it i'm always like should i switch it up and then i'm like no i just like my natural light pink but anyway i popped over to lehigh valley mall now i'm just gonna run some errands i'm going to run into the pottery barn right there and it's just i feel like it has so many things i need in one place like pottery barn a lot of times i'll go this four over there and why i really came is the lulu here it's so good i have to run into lulu because i just got i know the style name because i'm I literally know the style names of like all my favorite things like high-waisted wonder hunters fast and free leggings a line of course everybody's favorites but I have the Epta Street tank top which is one of my all-time babes I think I have four colors of them already but I got this like beautiful gorgeous light blue periwinkle let me show you and I ordered it and I'm bringing it in to get hemmed because here okay this is one of the colors i had before it's like light purple and see how this one i also got hemmed by them they do like complimentary hemming if you guys didn't know that so i hem them to that length so they're cropped see how this one's like full length so i'm just gonna bring it in i'm happy i remember to grab this one so they can see like exactly the length i want it to be so yeah we're just gonna do that run some errands and then i gotta get home because i gotta pack free new york it's way later and i've been in a packing hole i'm finally like showered in comfy pj clothes whoa the lighting's getting weird on my camera but i'll show you guys a little bit of what i packed literally just there for the weekend so i need to stop stressing but i have my new nike blazers i think these are just like workout clothes over here some pj sleeping shirt and shorts and then this is the dress that i wore like all day all day today from white fox i'm planning on wearing this with these as like my saturday during the day fun outfit. i tried to like plan out my outfits so hopefully it all looks good together and it's the right weather and everything for it sorry if that's gross that i like for all day today and i'm gonna wear it again don't judge okay then we've got oh this is louisa's birthday present and and I just got her like a cute little workout set and then bra undies and then over here okay so I figured Friday night if we like go out for I don't know dinner going out and then take my Saturday if we go for dinner going out I have both outfits so they both will work you guys so I tried them on with like respective pants these with just black this with just black jeans and then this top oh, I'm so obsessed with this Lisa actually just wore one that looks like just like this I think in a more like purpley color which is so funny so we're gonna like twin with the leather pants that I got like this with the leather pants just hits diff this with some black jeans and then I just have like plain black little heel type things I really am afraid of open toed shoes okay is the lighting getting so weirder than me I'm afraid of open toed shoes in New York City is that just me I think I'm turning into like a germaphobe I don't know no, but hopefully these are okay because they look really cute with both okay the lighting is getting weird i need to like hurry this up and then last but not least this is that long sleeve dress i tried on because i'm like this could come in handy you never know if we're gonna go like out out you know like to a club or something i mean i doubt we will but like just in case or if i felt like wearing that if we were going to like a fancy dinner or something and then grabbed some jeans and jean shorts in case i decided for that vibe i needed some extras like you can't go wrong i just feel like i'm not one of those people that can be like my travel there off at my travel home my workout outfits and like every outfit perfectly like that's all you bring like I feel like I need some extra options in case I'm like oh my gosh like it's or maybe it's cold and I wanted jeans or it's too hot and I wanted my shorts I don't know do you guys know what I mean like I need options here I'm so bad at packing but Hopefully that's pretty good. Then we've got my curling iron. Oh, I don't need a blow dryer. I'm like trying to think in my head right now. Your hotel will definitely have a blow dryer, right? So I should be good. Don't think I need a straightener. I like don't straighten really my hair anymore. It's naturally straight, so I can just like blow dry with a blow dryer and I'll be okay. I have all my toiletries in there, all my makeup in there, phone, and then a little backpack. Oh, what's this? I'm like, this is all blending together. Backpack, which obviously has my Soul Cycle shoes because we will be needing to go to Soul Cycle while we are there. And then I think. This is the one bag I'm gonna bring. I'm so proud of myself. I always bring like a million bags to go with like different outfits when I go somewhere. But yeah, it's just like a simple, plain little black bag. I feel like we'll go with everything. So that 
should be pretty good. Now I'm like extra thankful we did that little try on moment earlier and I get to try on all my new clothes because it totally inspired me clearly for what I was going to pack in New York and my cute outfits I'm going to wear. So I'm so excited to wear those. I'm so excited for you guys to see my Instagram, my vlogs and everything. I will be vlogging this weekend, which will be so fun. Hopefully... Oh, I gotta think about it. Hopefully I can get Luisa's reaction. I feel like we've been surprising so many people recently. Like, you guys know Max's BFF in Boston, his mom, and that weekend we went to the Cape, and then now Luisa. I'm, like, wondering if she knows. I'm, like, what is her boyfriend telling her? Like, she has to have some idea. I think she knows there's a surprise, because, like, how do you not tell them there's, like, a surprise? Like, he's, like, okay, we're going here in the morning, you know? Sorry, the lighting is so... This happens with the lights in here. Okay, I think when it's brighter. Oh yeah, now it's better. But I guess we'll see. Maybe I can like set up my camera somehow. I guess it, we're going to see how it goes. We've been having so many difficulties. Like we were supposed to meet at the Soul Cycle class and then plans changed and then Addie's flight gets in. In the morning, she's like taking a red eye, like getting on a flight right now from LA. My friend Addie, who I cannot wait to see. I haven't seen her in like over a year, which is crazy pants. But yeah, I'm so excited to see everyone. And I guess we'll see what footage I end up getting. Maybe I'll even get our surprise. Probably not not though if it's like mayhem and very hectic and oh i didn't even say where we're staying but we're saying at 60 i think is just the name of the hotel 60 les i think which is just lower east side and Addie found that hotel and maybe she stayed there before i don't know i feel like she recommended so that's where we're staying and i feel like i haven't like filled you guys in on any of the details that's what i'm trying to tell you right now my twin sister lucy is actually coming here on saturday because i haven't even told you guys so saturday morning morning max leaves on a flight he's going to a wedding and i just long story short this is how it's happening he's going to this wedding with all his buddies and i'm going to new york and so lucy is actually going to come here on a little vacay stay k because she like loves it here anyway and is like oh, i always want to come and especially like she just loves like being alone hanging out with brody so she's gonna have so much fun just like chilling recharging she literally will be here for like a day by herself with brody and then i'm gonna come back have sissy time with her. Max will be back later on. That's the plan. So sorry, I hope I didn't just chat way too long. Just wanted to like fill you guys in. So fun, exciting things coming with my friends in New York and then Lucy vlogs when I'm back here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. I'm gonna start tomorrow morning driving to New York City. I'm literally driving in and like parking there and everything. I'm gonna leave here at probably like 6.30 in the morning. So I need to get to bed. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow morning.